In the last video, we alluded to the fact that YouTube ads and channel sponsorships are not necessarily the most lucrative income streams that you can develop on your channel. Let's say that you have 5,000 subscribers and you're averaging about 1,000 views per video. On average, YouTubers make somewhere around two to three dollars per thousand views on their videos. So for every video that you post, you would make two or three dollars. On the other hand, let's say you write an ebook, and let's use our channel as an example. Let's say we write an ebook about how to get your finances in order, and it's a whole workshop and workbook all in one, and we sell it for $30. Based on our research, we can expect to earn about a 1% conversion on any product that we mention in our videos. So let's say at the end of every video we mention, hey, if you're interested in this content, we also have this workbook that you can buy that'll help you get your finances in order. That means 10 people would buy the ebook per thousand views at $30 a piece, means instead of making two or three dollars per video, suddenly we're making $300 per video. To reach that level of income with YouTube ads alone, we'd need to see 100,000 views per video, not 1,000 views per video. And here's why that is. When you sell a digital product on your YouTube channel, you're keeping 100% of the profits. So not only are you charging more than just a few dollars per thousand views, which you're then splitting with YouTube, you're charging 10 times that amount and keeping it all for yourself. Even if you were just to write a short ebook and charge three to five dollars for it, you can see how quickly you can create a full-time income on a relatively small audience. A lot of creators will also go the route of selling physical products like stickers, t-shirts, mugs, hats, postcards, literally anything. When you start looking at your YouTube career as a business, suddenly the YouTube ads are just icing on the cake on top of affiliate links and digital products and physical products and crowdfunding. 